Okay, excellent. What we have here is the advertising dashboard manager for uh, this is the place you will get to after you log into the Twitter advertising manager. And this is where you construct your av ads and your campaigns to tweet out to your Twitter audience. Now, you have to do it in two steps. The first step is to actually create the ad itself using a Twitter card or a tweet or something. The second piece, so that's the actual content that goes out. The second piece is the campaign, and the campaign will uh, be defined such as your target market, the gender, the, uh, the countries you wish to um, advertise into, all the criteria, including the budget for your ad. And then you tie them both together, and then you launch your actual campaign. So to start, let's go to the creatives to create a Twitter card because we want to use a Twitter card. We want to create a card because they are statistically they statistically generate more engagement and that's what we want. We want a website card because what we're going to do is we're going to drive the traffic off our web off of Twitter onto um, a website capture form that looks something like that. In fact, it's going to be this form we're going to be sending them to. So I've already created a whole bunch um, of cards, but I'm just going to create a new one, show you how the process works. Create a website card. It's really straightforward. You want to, the very first thing you want to do is add an image. So assuming you've already created the image with certain dimensions, let's go and find the image. I know it's here somewhere. There it is. It is, and it has to be specific dimensions, at least 800 by 479. And we will pick up that image. And you can position it within the box itself, so center it nicely. And then you save the image. Once that is done, so you've got the preview, you specify the URL, so you, easy just to copy it. So there's no mistakes. You paste it in and get rid of the uh, HTTP in the beginning. And the headline. So we'll use that as a headline. And then your call to action. So you'll notice now this is what your card is starting to look like. And the call to action will just say learn more. So it changes your button to learn more. And we'll call our card SMB card demo 2 and create the actual card itself. Once the card is created, you can go back to your cards manager and you can see we've got our card that's defined. But we want to head over to the campaign manager itself to construct the actual campaign. To create a new campaign, create new campaign and select the website clicks or conversions. That is because we want the campaign that's specific to driving the traffic, our audience, off of Twitter onto an external website. So the campaign name is um, uh, SMB Demo 2 Campaign. And I'll, uh, th this is a more complicated um, uh, action that we have to do for conversion tracking. I'm not going to go through that right now, but from a basic perspective is customize the start and the end date. So let's say we're going to start our campaign on the 30th of October. We're going to end it in November, let's say on the 4th. And you can you can set the start and end times. The actual creative itself, this is where you pull it in to the system. So you can select the card right here. And we've got the SMV demo card too. We select it. It does pull it in. And then what you want to do is create the actual tweet itself with no links in here. So I'm going to create something very simple and straightforward just for demonstration purposes. Target, find, and engage your local Twitter audience. Then we will uh, select that tweet as a promotion only. Your card is going to look something like that. So target, find, and engage your local Twitter audience. The creative uh, image itself. And use Twitter the right way. And learn more. 
Okay, so we can have multiple tweets, multiple cards for this actual campaign, but we're only going to have one um, for now. Uh, targeting is the next section. Which audience do you want to target? You can do it a number of different ways, through keywords, through interests and specific followers. You can customize it. I'm going to, uh, for argument's sake, and just make it simple, select keywords. They All the sections work very much so the same way. The keyword you want, let's just say we want uh, B2B. That's going to be our keyword that we're going to use. You can use accounting, you can use hamburgers, you can use whatever you want, whatever the target audience, so you have to think like your customer. There is a summary on the right-hand side here in blue, what keywords we're using, genders, languages, all that. You can see the, um, the radio dots up here, which indicate the size of the audience. Right now, the size of the audience is a small blue one, so it's between 1,000 and 10K. The best thing to do at this point, you can keep keying in keywords or import your keywords, but I'm going to expand the reach by finding additional keywords. So we can find, for example, use innovation, we can use SMB, we can use social media, social media marketing, B2B marketing, entrepreneur, startup, online marketing. Uh, we can use big data. So these are all the keywords within tweets, within profiles, and so on. Uh, startup, we can use small business, we can use advertising, marketing, hashtag marketing. Go to the next page. We've got 40 of these pages. We don't have to use them all. I'm just giving them as an example. Shopping, maybe Google, maybe small biz, maybe marketing. Whoops, marketing, small biz. Let's see how many we have. And we'll add all those keywords. It puts down the list. You'll notice some of the biggies right here, which is good, which increases the size of our audience. Um, we can add a few more. Let's just say it's um, accounting is another one. Another keyword we can use, and we can expand the reach on that one. Uh, social, maybe LinkedIn, startups. Some of these look similar. We can anything addressed to at social media today, strategy, social media tips, small business, small business marketing, entrepreneurs, markets, startups, and add those keywords. Okay, so it adds a lot of small ones, one, two big ones, and a few medium sized ones. Um, matching options as well, filter out tweets in which keywords are used with negative sentiments. Um, so any negative sentiments to tweets, it won't publish your ad to that stream. What locations we can say, you can select anything you want, uh, wherever your target market is located. So now you understand why you need to under uh, know your demographics pretty well exactly if you want to make effective use of the advertising um, on Twitter. We can say Canada. We'll just select the countries that we're familiar with uh, that, that uh, um, are English-speaking. Um, we've got um, Australia. We've got... Uh, did I put Canada? Yeah, I've got Canada in there. We've got... Uh, United Kingdom and the country I was born in, South Africa. I speak English there amongst a few other languages as well. Uh, there's a whole lot of other countries, but we'll leave that for now. Then you can start customizing additional options uh, behind your campaign. Customize where the, tw where the tweet actually appears in the search results or the timeline. We'll leave it at both. Here's a new option. You can exclude certain audiences. So exclude people using your own website visitor data or exclude people using your own lists of emails, Twitter IDs, and mobile advertising. So adds a little more power into it. Into it. Limited targeting to specific devices or platforms. So you can say, well, you want to get to everything or you can say, no, I don't want to get to Blackberries and tablets. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but I'll just leave it on. Uh, limited by gender, let's just say we want only uh, females, and limited by languages, you can see whatever language, whether it's in Spanish or, well, the English-speaking language in this case, and that would be the default anyway. Um, but to be 
positive about that. We'll just say English. So anyone that has their profile defined as English. And then what's your budget is the last step in the equation. So set the daily maximum. So say we're going to spend $5 a day. We only want $5 a day. We can set different pacing options, accelerated or uh, standard. We'll just leave that standard right now. Set maximum bid per website click. So we'll leave the default at 285. That's what they're recommending. The higher the amount, this is what you're going to pay per click to your to the website specified in specified in the actual ad itself. Uh, then we will. Um, set the total budget, so we can just say let's set the budget of uh, $50, and uh, so you can see we have one tweet selected, five locations, 29 keywords, total budget of $50, a daily budget, the maximum bid per click, so it could, it could be lower from October 30th to November 4th. Once we're done, we save the campaign. And then you're ready to actually schedule the campaign. So we schedule the campaign. And now your ad is running, which will start on the 30th and end on the 4th. And as statistics appear in real time, they will appear um, within your dashboard here.